Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PowerPoint tutorial, we are going to learn how to insert pictures within PowerPoint slides. Now, inserting pictures within PowerPoint slide is absolutely easy and important as well because it will help your PowerPoint slides to stand out and your audience will be receiving the content or perceiving it in a much better way when you have pictorial representation within your slides. So, if you are a teacher or you are doing some sort of presentation, let's understand how you are going to insert the pictures. So, to insert, basically, simply go ahead with the insert tab here. So, click on insert and then here you will see that we have the picture pictures drop down here so you can insert the pictures from the local computer the device that where you have this powerpoint installed or the stock images which is if you uh, have the premium content which is premium content that you can search from the image library and add it and then you can also insert the online pictures from online resources so we'll understand all of that now the next thing is you can also take screenshot you can take screen clipping and insert within the powerpoint slides so let's see all of these options one by one and what all for the images that you have inserted so if we go to the pictures here and you want to insert the picture that is there on your computer so simply you have to choose the computer and say for example i want to insert this particular picture here i'll select that and i'll click on insert and you will see that picture has been inserted on this particular slide right now the next option is say for example i add a new slide there on the new slide i want to add another picture from another source right so even on the slide you see that you can insert pictures if i just highlight you will see that you can insert from the stock images the pictures the chart etc all of these are options that are available you can insert video directly from here and then 3d models as well so if you want to go you can go from here from stock images and the online pictures or you can simply click on the icon here as well it will open the pop-up to insert the picture right the problem here would be that it will only open your local computer location to insert the picture but if you want to insert the picture from stock images click on the drop down here pictures and stock images and then it will start loading the stock images wherein you can search for images online as per your need and you'll see there are different categories uh, wherein you can go ahead and search for right so for example if i just want to search nature all right i can find all the images relating to relating to nature that you can see which is whichever is relevant for your content and click on insert right now when you will insert this particular picture it will be you know inserted accordingly and say for example i'll delete this section here and now i can resize or move this picture around on the page here so simply click left click on your mouse and you can move the picture accordingly you can resize the picture by simply hovering over in the corner here and just drag and drop left click your mouse and drag and drop to resize the picture the next thing is if you click on this particular picture right then or if we click on here and minimize it if we click on picture here if we have to format this particular picture so click on format picture format and it will open all the options that are available in order to format your picture you can change you can crop your picture in the right hand side you will see that you can crop to a shape okay so for example i want to crop this picture to a circular shape okay so let me again so i'll select the shapes here and say for example this circular shape and you'll see that the picture has been cropped to a circular shape right you can drag and drop and i want you can also adjust the height and width of the picture then if you see that here we can rotate the picture right in the right hand side you can arrange how the picture looks so you can also align it align to the top middle bottom or distribute horizontally distribute vertically right or align to slide okay then you have option to add the alt text there and then you can also add the picture border so i can have a different weightage to the border i can have different shapes for the borders okay and i can also have the dashed border as well and you can choose more lines there if you want okay then the effects is very important one so you can have the effects for your picture you can have you know inner shadow etc all of that is option uh, available here and then in the layout you can change the layout for the picture as well which is basically if you want to choose a different layout you can choose a different layout for example here you want to put certain text and and then you want to say this is you know in the left hand side is a bird right for primary students right so you can simply put a text there and the bird yeah. 
appear here with the layout right so if i go to picture format again you will see that every uh, other effects are in the left hand side you will see you can change the different colors uh, you can put the artistic effects there if you want to put some artistic effects uh, i want say for example this effect to be there i can put artistic effects on the picture as well okay and i can adjust the transparency of the picture as well i want more dark or i want a transparent picture so these are you know some of the options then you can also have the corrections basically applied so if you go to the corrections you will get more options to apply the corrections to the picture right you can adjust the brightness contrast etc on the picture if i go to the first picture here you will see different other options that are available here for the styles as well if you go to the drop down you will see you can choose the out of the box styles that are recommended or available in powerpoint as well okay so these are basically some of the options to edit the picture format or format the picture once you have inserted the picture okay so we have understood to insert the picture now say for example i want to insert the picture from online so i'll select the online and you can search the online pictures and i say for example select the autumn and selected one of the picture that is available online and simply click on insert and the picture will get inserted here right so you'll see that automatically you know the picture got inserted and formatting is absolutely similar to what we have understood in the other slides and you can go ahead and format the picture according to your need now how you can insert the screenshot okay so inserting the screenshot again very simple click on insert and then go to the screenshot which is taking the screen clipping and then inserting in your slide so for example you want to take some screen clipping from the online website and then insert in your slide to present so i'll simply go ahead with the screen clipping and then i can choose some of the screens for example here so i can choose the part of the window okay and that part of the window will be basically inserted here right so screen clipping is also absolutely simple and then all of the picture edit options are absolutely similar to whichever source or it doesn't matter which source you are inserting the picture the edit options picture formatting options are absolutely similar so that's how you are going to insert the images or pictures or screenshots within microsoft powerpoint that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching